so I feel like I'm, I'm from a different planet, um, and I'm interested in the datum rather than the data. Um, so, so what I'd like to talk about, is, oh, I guess I have to do my, whoop. Uh, so here's my, my um, disclosures. I, I, the company that I own does a lot of work with lots of companies, big companies and small companies, NIH and public and private, um, and uh, several non, non for profit, not for profits. Um, so I, I actually will not do this because you guys have talked about it. So I come from the point of view that, that actually sharing data is hard. Um, when I first went to NHLBI, I followed Dave Demetz in, in, as the branch chief of the biostatistics research branch there. And next to my office was an office full of data tapes. And the data tapes were from lots of trials um, that had been completed, and they were publicly accessible. So the public could call us and get them. And I was terrified because I felt, oh my goodness, if somebody calls and we have to send this data tape, nobody's around anymore from these studies, how will we know what to answer? And so for seven years when I was there, I crossed my fingers, put my head down and hoped nobody would call, and nobody did, um, and then I don't know what happened after. Um, <laughs> probably, <laughs> but if any of you want those old trials, the data are there and available. But what's not there are, it's the information that leads to each of the data, each of the, each datum. Um, if you're going to receive the data from a clinical trial, I think you need to know what the protocol was and maybe all versions of the protocol, because the data that are <coughs> collected are a function of that. You need to know what the analysis plan was. You may not agree with it, but at least you should know what the plan was when the data were collected. Um, you probably should have the case report forms, maybe all versions of them, again, because the data that you have are, come from the case report forms. And you should probably have a convention document. Who did, what did people think the data were when the people who collected the data collected them? So it's a lot more information than just the data. Here's an example of a, and, and putting together a set of data for sharing, this is a problem, this is because of HIPAA, okay? This is a data from, data from the PEACE study, um, which was a, a study of prevention of, of, uh, of events with, with ACE inhibitors. Um, and this is publicly accessible, but they had to remove any observation that would uh, let people figure out who the person was, okay? So, of course, you don't have the center, and you don't have the ID, and you don't have the initials, and you don't have the date, and you don't have the inclusion criteria, and you don't have the birth date, and you don't have the, L the LBEF, and you don't have whether they had an MI before, none of that stuff, because you could have identified the person. Um, all right, they don't have race, because you could identify, if you could figure out what center to go to, you could figure out what race, and then you could figure out what person. Therefore, they don't have EGFR, <laughs> because if you knew EGFR and serum creatinine, you could figure out the race. So that's not there. The dates of the most recent serum potassium, cholesterol, th that's not there, because you could figure that out by going to a center. Nothing about adherence, nothing about dosing, nothing about interim events, because they're rare and therefore you could figure out who was in it. No data on hospitalization, right? Um, or things that happened, okay? <laughs> Has that patient been hospitalized recently? Not there, because you could go to the database. You could go to a hospital and find out, did they have an MI? Did they have unstable joint? Did they have all this? Not there. Okay, so yes, this is a publicly used, publicly accessible database but the variables that one would think one would need are not there. Okay, so then I want to talk about, so that's from the HIPAA point of view, getting data ready for, that complies with the very rigid definitions of HIPAA. Um, so then you think, well, certain variables are really easy, that you have a da datum, you, you have data, you know what that variable is, so consider race. So 
I, I was involved um, in a meta-analysis of, of a lot of data from a company that had, um, and we had to do it by race, which I actually don't think is relevant, but we had to do the analysis by race. And so we did it by African Americans and whites and Asians, and we didn't know where the Indians were, you know, what, did the Asians include the, the Indian Pakistan? We didn't know that. Um, about five years later, I was working with the same company again and got, we, we were working for in a study in vaccines and the vaccine, you know, when you go, when you do certain vaccines, you go to South America when, this, when the bug comes down to the south, uh, 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 the southern hemisphere. And so this was done in Argentina, um, South Africa, and Australia. And there was a bunch of African Americans. And I thought, well, that's really weird. They were all from South Africa. And I realized that the definition of African American that we had been using in the previous meta-analysis probably was not African American at all. There's a large cardiovascular study published in a really good journal, same issue, where there are blacks, there's a difference between blacks and whites, and that has had implication for treatment. Who are the blacks? They're all from Brazil. Nobody bothered to look to see who they were. That's, the e that's an easy variable. Um, a more difficult variable is a primary outcome. Again, often when you get a database that you don't know about, primary variable is defined, am I? But you have to know, what is it? Was it investigator defined? Was it centrally adjudicated? What was the definition that was used in, in that protocol? Was that definition changed over time? Were there missing data? Um, and that's the primary outcome. And then, as one of the variables that I think is most important, and that's what Atul mentioned, is the very visits. When did these people come in? What are the dates? What are the unscheduled visits? And did people come in for an unscheduled visit because they were sick? Often you don't have that in the database. So my conclusion is it's very difficult to prepare data for other people's use. I can't imagine not having a t people available to answer questions. Um, uh, if, if people are going to use a database from trials, there ought to be somebody who knows the answers. So I think it's very difficult to use to prepare the database, especially if we want the conclusions to be useful. Thank you.